Please welcome uh, Jensen Wong. Jensen, come on out. Our industry is, you know, call it about a trillion dollars, and it's an industry of tools. You know, computers, um, software, they're industry of tools. For the very first time, this is going to be an in industry of skills. And you capture that, that phrase and you, uh, you call it agents. But it's going to be, for the very first time, agents sitting on top of tools. Agents using tools. And the, the opportunity for agents is gigantic, uh, as we know. You know, we, we now know... We now know... I'm hoping so, by the way. Uh, <laughs> It, it, sounds, it sounds insane, but here's the amazing thing. We're going to have agents that obviously uh, understand, understand the subtleties of the things that we ask it to do, but uh, it can also uh, use tools and it can reason. And uh, it can reason with each other and collaborate with each other. And, you know, we're going we're to give a problem to uh, agent force, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, agents are going to go find other agents uh, that that can help achieve this mission, uh, they'll work together, assemble together, work together, and solve this problem. And, and so I, I think the, the, the breakthrough uh, for, for me was, was at a moment when, when um, uh, we realized that unsupervised learning was going to be possible. Because the ability for humans to, to uh, be able to la label data at scale, uh, that we would become the limit limiters of these digital, digital AI to to uh, uh, expand their capabilities. And uh, when, when unsupervised learning came along, which allowed us to use language models, to create language models which codify human prior knowledge, using that to now learn multimodality, multimodal uh, uh, data, uh, the, the, from that point forward, it would, the, the scale was going to be exponential. Now, the, you know, for, for everybody here, uh, the, this, is, this is an extraordinary time because uh, in no time in history has computer technology not only uh, uh, moved faster than Moore's Law. I mean, we're, uh, Moore's Law, for example, uh, over, the course of, uh, over the course of a decade would be about 100x. Um, we are probably advancing at somewhere near 100 That was our other neighbor in Hawaii, Gordon Moore. Oh, is that right? Great person, great, yeah, great leader. Great person. And, and so we're, we're, we're at a stage now, we're in an era now where where we're moving way faster than Moore's Law, and and um, uh, are arguably easily Moore's Law squared, and and the reason the reason for that, of course, is at every single layer, computers went from CPUs to GPUs, uh, from human engineered software to machine learning software, and and now this feedback loop um, that allows us to to um, uh, create new AIs, uh, and these new AIs are helping us create new computer systems, and these new computer systems are uh, advancing at such incredible rates, which allows us to create even better AI. Uh, that that feedback, that flywheel is really m flying now, and and so I think I think the the um, uh, the progress that you're going to have with agents over the next year or two is going to be spectacular and surprising. The challenges that we have in front of us are, are many and worthy to be tackled right away. Um, of course, some of the, some of the most, most um, uh, inspiring advances has to do with fine-tuning, supervised um, uh, guard, and guard railing, and, and, um, uh, and uh, um, all of the work that surrounds safety. Um, everything from using AI to curate the data, to create safe curriculum, to teach the AI, which then fine tunes the AI on particular skills that ground it on values, then, then all of this wonderful AI technology to guardrail it, um, and guardrailing, and then re reflection, uh, using, using chain of thought to reflect on the quality of the answers that it's producing. You know, it's no longer AI, this one shot producing information. It's now reasoning about is, this, is the, 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 uh, the answer I'm generating. Uh, sufficiently safe and proper, and is it the best possible answer I could be I could be providing? It's reasoning with itself, and it's uh, it's reflecting on the answers before it answers. And so I, I think the the progress that we're made, making in safety is phenomenal. Yeah. Isn't it so important that people can actually understand? Yeah. Uh, this is what I call they need to get their hands in the soil. They need to understand the basic ideas to make this possible, and that's what I hope 
you know, happens with the thousands of people here that they can get in the code while they're here yeah. to really understand. So when they're going back to their offices, you know, that exactly what you're saying, that we've demystified the AI, that, you know, they don't have to worry about how they're going to DIY their AI, that they can somehow put all the hard work that your team has done, yeah. right, into some very practical use because this leap of faith that you've had, this, this strategic motion of your company has enabled so much of this. Now, how do we put it in the hands of everybody to like just get to work and building an agent should not be some computer science uh, fair project. It should be something that we can easily right. do because... It's going to be a lot more like onboarding employees than writing software. So I think the, the ambition of wanting to reinvent computing... Uh, to create what we now know is, is, is such a great endeavor. Um, so somewhere between the, the being uh, inspired by all the stimulus, um, the, the, the incredible challenge ahead of us, uh, you know, it's, it's kept us propelled, um, inspired, and fired up for a long, long time. And now here we are. We now have the instruments, the tools, uh, this capability called artificial intelligence that goes solve all of those other problems that we've, you know, been excited about ever since we were kids. And and so uh, that's pretty exciting times. Yeah. yeah. It's a summation of that whole thing, right? Because now that I know, like, you were there when the TRS-80 Model 1 was there, and we were at Radio Shack, and we're working on that, uh, you know, basic, and then we're moving into the 6502 computers and the Commodores and the Ataris and the Apples and all of that, and then all of a sudden yeah. we're into these mini computers and mainframes, and now all of a sudden we're in this, like, next generation systems that can do things that we could have never imagined. And That's right. If somebody had asked us when we were in high school to start programming on those things, we'd be like, whoa, how That's could right. that be? Yeah, unbelievable times. And, and so I think for, for all of the industry, this is what we're all fired up about because we're now seeing it. And we get the benefit of being inside the industry looking at the early indications of all this work. And, and I'm excited to be here today. Uh, helping to celebrate the beginning of the enterprise AI era. This is this is a big deal. Don't forget, you know, we say enterprise is the name of an industry, or you know, um, but the fact of the matter is, this is how society is built. This is how industries are built, and we're gonna we're gonna bring a level of uh, automation capability that the world's never seen. And, and I love that you codified it as agents, uh, gave it a theme song. Um, <laughs>